Hey everybody, it's Kidder's Barbecue back at it again. Well today I'm going to cook some baby back ribs. I'm going to do a collaboration video that I saw Rich's River Smokers, West Virginia. The longest name in YouTube history. He did a video, uh, he inject uh, a whole rack of ribs. He did St. Louis style. And congratulations on your thousand uh, subscriber, by the way. And um, I want to do the same thing, but I got some baby back. I'm going to inject one, then not inject one. But I'm going to wrap mine. He didn't wrap his at all. So I just want to see what the difference is. So I'm going to leave a description uh, and a link to his video on what he did. Check out his uh, because he did it first. Great video. And I just want to see if there's a big difference between, you know, wrapping it and then wrapping it and injected. So I am gonna use Cosmos Q uh, original pork injection. So it'll be go, go great with these ribs and use some Oak Ridge uh, rub like always, great rub. And uh, just gonna run it at 225. I'm gonna use the Yoder, uh, run with Lumberjack pecan pellets today. Um, it's pretty nice outside so I'm kind of excited to get the pit fired up and going. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, rinse these uh, baby backs off, bring them up here, slap them down with some mustard, throw some rub, and inject one. And I'll show you that whole process. And I really don't know where I'm going with the video. Uh, I just want to see if it tastes different. I'm not looking for anything competition style whatsoever. I want that juicy, fall off the bone, smoky flavor. Uh, style rib. I just want to eat some ribs. <laughs> it's been a while. So, and I just want to see if it, um, I got a feeling the one with that's going to be injected it will um, have more pullback. See which one has more pullback. Um, I guess who, which one's more tender. Like, you know, if I'm going to do the 2 2 1 method on these, well, I have to go an hour and 15 minutes, the one I injected, because it's having so much pullback with all the moisture. I don't know. So it's just kind of just trial and error. I want to do a collaboration video. I've never done one. So, um, so uh, let's get after it. All right, I got these all cleaned up. I went ahead and took the back membrane off on, on these. Some of them still have a little bit of partial on there. I couldn't get it all off. Um, it's kind of difficult actually. Usually it's really easy. So I went ahead and took my boning knife and kind of to cut it up a little bit, make skewer marks so I can get that rub down in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick, let's go ahead and do this one. Inject this big old thing here. I went ahead and mix some of this uh, um, Cosmos Q up. It's great, great marinade. I kind of thought I was going to have a hard time trying to get some of this in here. Actually, it's doing pretty well keeping it in there. Maybe if I just go, here we go. Go between the bones. I don't know. I've never done this before. Try on air. As long as it tastes good is what I'm going for. Whoa. Backfire. Let's get some more. Hope y'all can see that. Whoa. All right, let's see here. Let's flip this thing over. Let's see. Oh, there we go. That's much easier. Should have started off that way. <laughs> Man, this thing swung up like a balloon. I didn't think it would take this much injection. Kind of impressed right now. This is kind of a thin part here. I'm not gonna get all. It just expands between. <laughs> I hope this thing's juicy for all the bone. If this doesn't do it, I don't know what will. All right, so here's my one that's injected. That's all done. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wipe this down, use some mustard. 
I'm going to use Dominator Sweet Rub by Oak Ridge. And then I'm going to do two of them that way. And then I'm going to use Eat Barbecue on mine because it's got a little bit of tang at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe this up and get this thing all and rub down. And then we'll see you on the pit. Well, I'll show you the process, I guess. Homer's forgot to push play. All right, we're we'll record. A little bit of binder, nothing crazy. salt seasoned up here I tell you what this Oak Ridge rub is by far probably the best company I've ever seen or tasted or used it makes great color great taste this one's sweet my wife likes all of her stuff sweet and it's just you can smell it you can smell sugars like brown sugar let's see what it has in it let me read the back of this raw candy sugar sea salt Honey, chilies, paprika, other spices, chipotle. Looks like it's more sugar. <laughs> so basically sugar. Uh, and that's why she likes it. But it's great stuff. And uh, like I said, the color is amazing. A good mahogany color. So let's get this flipped back over. Look this side. Uh, Give it a nice coat. I'm gonna let these set up for about 15, 20 minutes. Let, let the let the you rub stick to the meat, bring up you know, nice and wet look. So I know it's a good bind. All right, let's get this all the sides. All right. So that's basically it. I'm going to do the same thing for the one I'm not doing. Obviously, I'm just not injecting it. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done and then put these things on a smoker. All right, y'all. I went ahead and put the ribs uh, on the smoker, running it. Well, I opened the lid, so it says 215. So running about 225, 230. Show you what they look like. These are two of the Oak Ridge barbecue uninjected this one's injected using a toothpick just like mr west virginia let's see here let's put it in there if i can find the meat there we go so therefore i know which one it is this one is that eats barbecue rub so let these game things go for two hours i am going to spritz every 45 minutes to an hour and uh then i'll get them wrapped up and i'll show you that process when we get there stay tuned all right, everybody, we're at that two hour mark. Let's take a look at it. All right, got some pretty, pretty good color going here. Don't have really much pullback yet, but we'll go ahead and get these things wrapped up and foil these two. This is the one I injected. This one's going in pink butcher paper. This is my rib. So, Give me two seconds and I'll show you that process. Alright, there's the first rib. And this is the one that is not injected. I'm doing these two exactly the same. I'll show you just this one process on this one. This is my fridge, which is just only apple cider vinegar with water. And then I'm going to use some unsalted butter. Double wrap and foil. Get some butter. I am going to put these back on the smoker, uh, meat side down. Get that down on there. And then 
Now we'll throw some, a little bit more of that oak root rub on here. And that's about it. I'm going to wrap this thing back up, put it back on the smoker. I'm going to do the one I injected the same exact way. And then uh, I'll go ahead and show you what I'm going to do with my butcher paper one. It's a little different. Alright, here's my uh, little off experiment rib I'm doing. This is that uh, Eats Barbecue Zero to Heat. Um, making this one a little spicier than the others. So what I'm going to do with this one, I am using pink butcher paper because that's my, I prefer that. And I'm going to give it a spritz with this apple cider vinegar. Pretty good coat. The bush paper holds up real well. If you think it would rip, it doesn't. I can get all crazy with it if I want. So I'm going to go ahead and get this down. Give it another strip. This one's got more pullback. It's close to the chimney. And a little bit of butter. Then what I use is tiger sauce. It's a great hot sauce. It's not too spicy and it's not, it has a really good flavor. I just douse it. It's great stuff. And that's about it. I'm gonna wrap this thing back up and Put it in the smoker and let it go for another two hours with the rest. See you back in two hours. Alright y'all, we're at our four hour mark so let's take a look. I open these things up. This one's the one that I had that was injected. Look at the pullback on that. There's a ton of liquid in there. so. That's definitely going to be tender. That's going to be almost fall off the bone. Same thing with this one. I think this one's actually got a little bit more pullback, but there wasn't much meat there. That's the reason why that's like that. This is the one I did not inject. And then I haven't unwrapped that one yet. I'm not worried about that one. So this one hardly has any liquids compared to this thing. This thing's got liquid all the way around it. So hopefully it's stayed in the meat. So I'm going to get these off here, sauce them up. And um, I'll show you, I'm using a sweet Memphis on these two. And then I may, I put hot sauce and barbecue sauce together on this one. And I'll show you what those are when I come up to mop them up. And I'm gonna mop every half hour until an hour's done, which is two times. Then we'll do the taste test, y'all. All right, y'all, it's time to sauce these things up. These ribs look amazing. I'm gonna use on the one that I used in butcher paper. This is Killer Hogs uh, barbecue sauce with a little bit of that Tiger uh, hot sauce. Mix it all up. And then I'm going to use Cattleman's uh, Sweet Memphis on the two that I'm doing my experiment with. The injected and uninjected rib. So I'll give you a look real quick. Tell you what, they look good. There's some like half inch pork chops. <laughs> so uh, this is the one that's not injected. Injected. And uh pink butcher paper look at that color that is why I love the pink butcher paper these two are foil pink butcher paper looks amazing all right so let's get this stuff sauced up so you guys already know what that process is so I won't bother to show you <laughs> see you guys when it's totally done Hey guys, it's finally done. Everybody finally left and uh, they ate and they're full. So I'm gonna give my opinion on which rib is better. From three people I asked, they said the 
rib that was injected was the best. It was fall off the bone, had the most uh, smoke flavor. So it's time to get my opinion. So I'm gonna start off with the one that's not uh, was not injected. Got great smoke ring on here. Phenomenal. Smells great. Perfect bike mark. Boom. Mm. Wow, that's amazing. That is great rub, great bark sauce right there. Wow. Okay, now I'm gonna go with the one that is injected. Look at that big old thing. Smoke ring looks real good. Definitely got a lot more pullback. It looks like it's about to fall off the bone for sure. Man, that's good. I don't know, that's hard. Let's give it for a second. This thing's been done for like 45 minutes and I can't believe how juicy they still are. Not injected. First off, the one that's injected is for sure way more tender, juicy, definitely almost overcooked, has about to fall off the bone. Uh, they both got the same amount of smoke flavor. Sauce is great, rubs great. So overall, I think if I was going for fall off the bone rib, uh, the injection wins. I am gonna experiment with it because you can definitely, definitely taste a better overall pork flavor with that injection Cosmos Q. I think it just boosts the flavor of the pork itself. So with that being said, I do like to taste the pork. So I mean, that's what you're eating, so you gotta at least taste it instead of just the sauce and rub all the time. So it's got an overall good balance flavor. It's still close. They're really good. These are by far one of the best strips. Oh. This is a good collaboration video because this is by far one of the best ribs I've cooked. I'm gonna go hands down and say I'm definitely gonna try injecting more ribs, especially with different kind of combinations with you know spices. I like that. I prefer spicier things, so I'm definitely gonna have to experiment with this. This is a definitely a must try. I'm gonna go roll and say the injected rib is a uh, for sure. If you want to fall off the bone rib, that's the one you you should do. You inject it if you want to fall off the bone for sure. So I guess I hope you guys are like what I'm doing. I'm trying to get my subscription numbers up. So uh, please comment, share, and always feel free to leave a comment. I will get back to you as fast as I can. So I hope you guys enjoyed everything. Stay tuned. I'll be cooking some more. Cares Barbecue.